Hey, welcome to a special episode of Machinery Repeat TV. We're going to celebrate a great year of sharing the legacies of farm families across the country. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Repeat TV. And today, we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Repeat, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Repeat thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, a big iron company. Let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. For farmers working to lift, change, and repair tires, check out the Tire Grabber at thetiregrabber.com. Big Iron Auctions and the Share Your Legacy program, promoting the future of agriculture with amazing legacy stories from across America. Hey, greetings America. Welcome to a very special two-part series, Machine Repeat TV. I'm here with the owners, founders of Big Iron Auctions, Mark and Ron Stock. How are you guys doing? Good to see you. Good to see you guys. Uh, what's new, man? You guys have been busy. Tons of sales here in 23? Tons of sales. Uh, we just checking out our sale calendar between now and the next three months. We've got 150 auctions coming up, uh, trying to make sure everybody gets the advertising they deserve and gets the word out. And uh, so far, we're covering our bases. So. Bringing buyers and sellers together, that's what Big Iron's all about, isn't it, Mark? It is. Uh, you know, with our huge database of bidders and buyers all across the country, you know, machinery moves. Uh, all directions and uh, the average piece selling on our site is a little over 300 miles and we sold 125,000 items last year so that's a pretty good spread. Well you guys at Big Iron, Mark and Ron, you guys have always been ahead of it. Uh, you're also ahead of it here with uh, this amazing Share Your Legacy program. We've been honored to have part of our show here this past year. Uh, Ron, how did, how did Share Your Legacy get started for Big Iron? Share Your Legacy was basically an idea that Ron and Mark had over time driving down the road after we met with a seller. We'd meet with a seller and we'd go, that's an amazing story. Uh, I wish my wife could have heard that. I wish our people in our office could have heard that. So we've been knowing about those stories for years and years. And finally we got to the point where we already have a film crew employed doing our uh, online auctions, helping us with our open houses. We're like, we should take that same film crew and we should, while we're there, we should do some stories about that guy. He has an amazing story. And over the years, we've always put together a little disc with a picture of the guy and his wife and his family on sale day. And we've always known that that was so precious to that family. They're like, Ron, we've handed those discs out at dad's funeral. Those are emotional things when dad's talking about his tractor. Oftentimes, the only footage people have of their dad and their grandfather is him on a microphone at then a stock auction, now a big iron auction, talking about his equipment. So we've taken that to the next level with Share Your Legacy. Grabbing some of these stories, an amazing film crew comes out with tons of experience and the right lighting and the right storytelling. It turns out to something bigger than my wildest dreams. It's really turning out better than I ever hoped it could. And Mark, uh, it's just an honor to share these segments on our TV show. And again, you guys are honoring uh, the farm folks from small town rural America that core of your business, the folks I've been dealing with for 34 years, it's very powerful, these segments that you guys have produced. It is. Uh, we have people stopping us all the time and saying, I've got a great candidate for a Share Your Legacy series. And, uh, you know, we've got reps all across the United States, and they're meeting with a lot of different sellers. In fact, uh, you know, over 12,000 sellers uh, using Big Iron, and I don't even have the number of the number of buyers. 12,000 sellers in 23? 12,000 sellers, over wow. 12,000 wow. sellers. But a lot of these folks, just as Ron said, you know, they come from uh, the tough times, right? And uh, some of them are getting up in years. And when you put the camera on them, they start talking about when they were young and their grandchildren are in the room and their children are in the room and then it's memorialized in that video setting uh, because there's a lot of footage that doesn't make your program that the family gets to keep. Right. So that's the, that's the important part of the Share Your Legacy stories. And we're just thankful and honored that our reps uh, across the country are recognized the families that they can give a little attention to. 
Big Iron and Sullivan Auctioneers, a big iron company, is your ultimate destination for all your online auction needs. As North America's leading online equipment auction house, BigIron.com connects you with a national marketplace for buying and selling. Plus, Big Iron provides options to help get you top dollar for your equipment. Choose a dedicated auction day as a single seller or include your equipment in weekly Wednesday auctions to get the best returns. Visit BigIron.com today and start buying and selling with confidence. We have sprayers, combines, everything. We use a tire grabber. It can go down to a two-man job changing tires and sprayers. They work so well. Speeds up our uh, change time, stuff like that. But uh, reach in, you can grab hold of them and change them. Sprayers unloading combines when they come in off the trucks makes it a lot easier to pull the duels off and put new duels on. Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. You've got to try this. The power of foam is the only way to clean and degrease your equipment. Simply foam it on, give the foam a few minutes to work, and power wash it off. Cuts grease and your wash time significantly. The foam won't harm electrical sensors or controls. It neutralizes and washes away farm chemicals and is safe to use on most surfaces. Call 888-996-7801 or go online to check out their dealer locator at powerofoam.com to find the power of foam near you. H&R AgriPower year-end equipment auction by Merit Auctions is December 1st. Tremendous line of late model equipment selling, including 2022 Case H Steiger 620 Quad Track with 768 hours in warranty, 2022 Case H Magnum 310 with 464 hours in warranty, 2022 Case H 8250 and 21 model 9250T combines, 2022 Case H 2150S 24 row and 2160 36 row planners. Info at MeritAuctions.com. The Share Your Legacy program started in January with a trip to Northwest Iowa shining light on two special farm families. When I was six or seven years old, I was always out in the iron pile and doing that. In fact, they got pictures of me taking the machinery apart that I shouldn't have been taken apart. I've had a desire to build things. I built a lot of stuff over the years. A lot of the stuff they didn't it didn't make big enough to suit me. For instance, the corn platter over there and the sprayers, 90 foot sprayer boom before the biggest one was 40 or 50 feet. The words I use to describe my dad are words we've been saying in our family for a couple decades now. He is the world's oldest juvenile delinquent and we love him. Ended up buying a Tiger Steiger, 550 cubic inch Cummins and it was 525 horsepower which we used to build the pond out here. That started in the construction business that way. So we were big time in construction. And most of my help was by farmers around the area. When they'd get done farming, they'd all climb on that machinery and away they go. <laughs> so this is the Sholiver. What made you put a car engine in a tractor, an Oliver for that matter? Since I was old enough to no, any kind of tractors, nothing has ever had enough power to suit me. Anyway, a little story with it. <laughs> and pretty soon come the cop. Just you. <laughs> come the cop. And, and he comes right up to the fender and he says, what's going on here? He says, I'll escort you back to Milford. So, so I passed him. And we went back to Milford 45 miles an hour with him behind and the lights on. <laughs> that was the beginning of the Sholiver. After and that's that. why they call you the oldest juvenile delinquent to this day. I, I think you're probably right. <laughs> Homesteading was when uh, the uh, pioneers that came west had an opportunity to homestead, and most of them could homestead 80 acres. But since my great-grandfather was in the Civil War, all Civil War veterans were allowed to homestead 160 acres. Well, my great-grandfather was in Civil War and he was in Philadelphia. He was called to duty at Old Independence Hall when Abraham Lincoln was assassinated and he stood guard duty over the front of the casket for 12 hours controlling the crowds. Well, after that, he met his wife, Emily Ames, O'Brien. There they had the 
the ambition, the will to move west. Joe and Rachel and Sharon and Silas, this is a book, Clay County Atlas for, for uh, 1909. So I would like to show you where your great great grandpa and your great 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 grandpa and my great grandpa homesteaded. We are so thankful for the people responsible for getting us here and uh, you know, we just pray that this will continue and uh, our great grandkids, our great great grandkids know why we believe the way we believe and freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of all those things. And we just pray that you continue that on. Well, you know, Ron, Larry Leckband's story is a great example of how farmers have had to adjust through the decades. How has Big Iron adjusted over the years? Well, other than the obvious going online, uh, we're constantly updating our online technology. Uh, we keep track of every expense, just like a farmer does, that we spend. And I know from a recent meeting, we're spending 80000 a month upgrading our online technology. We want our buyers and our sellers to have access to the very greatest, the very latest. The farmers out there raising 300 bushel corn are using the best fertilizers, the best herbicides. That's what we want to do. So our product is robust and moving right along. We don't see that changing. We got some new products coming out that's going to wow your audience, wow our audience. Uh, we're excited about it. And Mark, uh, change with Big Iron, that's kind of your guys' middle name. You've leaned into that over the decades, haven't you? Well, you know, we started in 2001 broadcasting our auctions over the internet in real time when uh, people were coming to sales and we were saying the internet you're in, the internet you're not in. And the on-site crowd was skeptical of what the heck was going on. Uh, but that grew traction and we immediately noticed that there was a lot of people that liked that service of them not having to be there physically. And then when we started broadcasting our timed only auctions in 09 and the different versions of the software that we've had to uh, put together over time, it's been a fun experience and uh, we want to thank the buyers and the sellers uh, for trusting the, the process and uh, it's working out well for a lot, a lot of people. 23rd annual auction for Han Farms Limited in Stratford, Ontario was Monday, December 4th. Tremendous selection of beautiful low hour equipment including a 2020 John Deere 8370R with 1200 hours and extended warranty. Case IH Maxim 125 with loader and 1200 hours. 2022 John Deere 6130R with 280 hours, loader and factory warranty. Beautiful Ford 7710 Series 2 with 5162 hours. Super sharp John Deere 4255 and 4560 tractors. Visit hanfarms.on.ca for info and bidding. No Reserve online dealer auction for Johnson Tractor December 7th with equipment from their Wisconsin and Illinois locations. Sale by Sullivan Auctioneers, a big iron company. No buyer fees. 23 tractor selling including a 2022 New Holland T8 380. 8 combines for sale including a 2021 Case H8250. 10 heads, 8 grain carts, 3 planters, 6 skid steers, 2 mini excavators, also tillage and hand forage equipment plus more. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com for sale info and online bidding. Best way I've seen to fix faded paint, Dakota Shine. Made in South Dakota by Dakota Ag Innovations, a company with a 20 year history of working with top construction equipment manufacturers, now offering Dakota Shine to the farm community to help you keep your equipment looking like new and retain more value when it comes time to sell or trade. Key active ingredient from corn soy derivatives. Order online at dakotashine.com or visit your regional farm stores to pick up your Dakota Shine today. You know, one of my favorite stories of the whole year was the Press family from Lively Grove, Illinois. Well, my wife Debbie is a wonderful person. It's one team, one dream. Uh, we both saw the same vision. We knew where we wanted to go, and we both knew what it was going to take to accomplish that. In 2001, Brian and I had a dream. We wanted to start our own farming operation. We were told it would never be done. Um, these things don't happen unless you have generationals handing it down to you. So we decided with 100 acres and one tractor, we were gonna start our dream. 
first couple years, first three or four years, there was a severe learning curve. Uh, we uh, battled dry weather, uh, finding equipment. We struggled quite a bit. Uh, we know what it's like to be poor and have to work hard for everything we do. Yeah, was that coming being or going? That was coming, being delivered. Our first green cart? Our first little green cart. We were farming with junk, but we were proud. <laughs> the first several years were certainly a struggle, and then tragedy struck in 2007. We were all gone. It was a rainy Saturday, so the combine was sitting in the field. We were not harvesting. We received a we received a phone call that our house was on fire. Total devastation when we got home. We had lost everything. Um, it was a sad, sad day. For over 20 years, hardships were overcome because of hard work, determination, and a focus on their dream. The press are leaving a legacy that will last many generations. With uh, the determination that we had, every time somebody would tell us that it can't be done, just in the back of your mind, you just kept thinking, yes, it can. Yes, I will. I feel safe to say that we did. Wow, that story to me is very hopeful, folks, to see a man and his wife with their dreams start a farm 25 years ago. Now, passing that legacy on to their kids, that's, uh, that's America, guys. That's all across the United States we see that story. You know, agriculture's had some good years. And if there's one thing agriculture, people in agriculture do better than anybody else, they invest in the future. There isn't an example of a four or five generation farmer out there that hasn't invested in grain bins, uh, and then bigger grain bins, and then irrigation, and uh, technology and equipment. So it's just awesome. Uh, so it's exciting story. Really proud of those people. And Mark, cool there to see a, a new legacy being started by husband and wife and having their kids and their kids excited about farming and you guys have shared tons of stories, share your legacy with four, five, six generation. I mean, your guys' family has a, a history in farming that it, it connects us all, doesn't it? It does. Well, we're in our fifth generation, my boys farming. Um, so we're excited about that, that they chose that opportunity. But you know, there's such great things happening in rural America. In February, Share Your Legacy visited a dairy farm in Wahoo, Nebraska, Beauty View Farm. And Melissa Kaneski is part of a strong future in agriculture. You gotta smile. See, that's the one. She's the star of the show. Yeah, I love cows. Cows, if you ask me my favorite animal, I was always the dork that was like, cows. And people are like, that's so lame. I'm like, I know. Uh, I love dairy cows. I do enjoy cow puns, people that dress like cows, uh, things that have cow print on them. Big fan of all of it. So we're sitting here at my grandma's house uh, just outside of Wahoo, Nebraska. My family, the Kineskis, originally settled here in 1877. So the dairy has seen a lot of different phases, right? We were a fully functioning um, production farm at one point. We were aiming for pounds of milk. We were aiming for you know, cows in the National Registry and all this sort of stuff. Um, but that industry didn't support us uh, like we would have liked. Um, we weren't able to, to excel the way we wanted. Um, so we, we were on the edge of quitting. The last three or four years, Melissa has taken off a lot with what she's got going on with the dairy. Um, it seems like it was going the wrong direction. They didn't know what they wanted to do, and then she took off with the cheese and the ice cream. We tried a test batch, and it turned out <laughs> better than I ever thought. And now kind of everybody's on board, and I, I hope that there's future generations that want to continue this, that see the value. Um, that see the benefit of this both to themselves and in the local community. Um, but but really, like, we, we matter, this is important, and yeah, I think that's what I hope to be my legacy. Big Iron and Sullivan Auctioneers of Big Iron Company is your go-to destination for all your online auction needs. As North America's leading online equipment auction house, BigIron.com connects you with a national marketplace for buying and selling. Whether you're upgrading or downsizing, BigIron.com has you covered. Experience the ease of online auctions with the leading name in the industry. Big Iron is your premier choice for online equipment auctions. Visit BigIron.com today and start buying and selling with confidence. The only way I've seen to safely clean aluminum grain on stock trailers is Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner from Dakota Ag Innovations. With over 15 years of proven performance cleaning all types of aluminum, the results speak for themselves. Dirty, stained, and discolored aluminum trailers don't stand a chance against Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner. 
safely improve the appearance of your aluminum trailers at home and make a statement with Bright Plus. Order today at TrailerCleaner.com or find Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner at a farm store near you. Hey folks, pleased to be joined in the studio by Melissa Kaneski with Beauty View Farm in, in Wahoo, Nebraska, and welcome to the to the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm glad to be here. And you know, Melissa, your segment, uh, Share Your Legacy, was it just made me smile. And first off, hats off to what you've built with your dairy operation, making uh, designer ice cream, cheese, and yogurt. It's just fascinating. Um, now, can we talk, uh, social media has changed agriculture in, in such powerful ways over the last you know, 10 years. How have you, with your operation, Beauty View Farm, how have you used social media? Yeah, so it's probably one of the biggest tools that we use. Uh, there's really no guidelines for how to use it, right? Uh, especially as you run a business, it's like, you just try things out, you, you learn as you go, uh, which is pretty much what's happened. Um, it's been one of the biggest tools that's allowed us to grow our business. Um, you know, putting posts up, uh, whether it be about ice cream or even cows or baby calves or uh, the newest one is the quote about my dad, uh, thinking our ice cream. That one was awesome. I had to share yeah. that one on our machinery, Pete, because you had a new flavor of ice cream, which by the way was what flavor? Uh, the new one is cookies and cream. Okay. Yes. And so you have dad there to kind of sample things. And what was his comment? Uh, it tastes like ice cream. <laughs> So that's brilliant. Yeah. And you shared it on social and people loved I it. I shared it. I was super hesitant. I'm like, I don't know the rules for this, but we tried it anyway. Uh, and it's been one of the biggest posts yeah. that we've had in the last month. So when the Share Your Legacy segment aired on our Machine Repeat TV show, can you talk about uh, reaction you got? For my family that was a part of the process, uh, you're there on the backside and it's kind of kind of chaotic and a little messy and they don't know what they're doing and yeah. and to see it all come together so well done um, I think was really awesome. I think they were kind of surprised at how it turned out. Uh, the local community went nuts. I think to this day that is our top shared Facebook post, Instagram mm -hmm. post was us sharing that um, segment. Um, so I think it's it's it was so awesome. It was a huge marketing tool for us at that moment. Well, Big Iron Auctions, of course, all about auctions. But guys, one of the things I really love about the Share Your Legacy series that you've done is that farmers have cool stuff. And you guys have brought that forward in Share Your Legacy. Could be a pickup, could be any number of things, but it's been really fun. It is fun to watch how a farmer uses the tools in their trade, from their UTVs to the open station tractor running the feed wagon uh, to their brand new tractor and planter that they're so proud of. Uh, tucked neatly in the shed, right. covered in sheets. We have seen people that have the, the tractors that are taken better care of uh, than a lot of things in life, right? right? Because they're very sentimentally attached to the tools that uh, do all the work. Right, and Ron, I know you guys in Share Your Legacy have shared some cool stories on old pickups, trucks that mm -hmm. mean a lot to these farm families. And even though farmers might be a little, you know, not standing on a soapbox kind of folks, boy, you ask them about that farm truck. Mm -hmm. They'll start talking, and, and that's pure love, isn't it? Well, bringing up a farm truck, just the story that comes to mind is Jim Meinhardt's early 1900, like I believe it's 1909, traded it for a combine to a customer, and now we're selling Jim Meinhardt's collection uh, coming up here. We're so proud. Thank you for hiring us, Jim. Uh, what a collection. We're going to be there for an open house. Hopefully you can make it. Uh, love to. Uh, it's going to be quite a sale, but in, in those walls, in his museum, are stories Every tractor, every piece of machinery is a story in itself. That pickup truck's a story in itself. But it doesn't get any funner, funner than talking about machinery uh, with uh, farmers and ranchers right. across the United States. It's all about the emotion. And somebody that wants to buy somebody's machinery is way more attached and more willing to purchase it when they know everything about it. So just a picture and a description doesn't do near as much as being able to talk to that specific seller, which is one thing we've done from the beginning. We always right. provide that information, and uh, that, that's important. As we wrap up this special episode of Machinery PTV, I wanna thank my good friends Mark and Ron Stock from Big Iron. These guys do a fantastic job. Hope you folks had a great Thanksgiving, and hey, tune in right around Christmas time. We'll have part two of this special, and tune in next week to Machinery PTV. I can't wait to see where Share Your Legacy will take us next. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, a big iron company. Let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. For farmers working to lift, change, and repair tires, check out the Tire Grabber at thetiregrabber.com. Big Iron Auctions and the Share Your Legacy program. 
promoting the future of agriculture with amazing legacy stories from across America.